Uh, hey everyone, uh, I'm about to show you some videos um, on how to restore the spokes of a uh, 68 GTO uh, Sport wood wheel. Um, I'm going to go through the order in this video first because uh, this is my first time you know, doing YouTube videos and uh, it kind of got out of whack. So, um, and I missed some videos here and there. So, uh, so what I'm going to what I'm going to show you is just what I the things you need to to restore the spokes, um, and uh, I'm going to show you the, the actual finished product right now, and then you'll see the videos later on, which will show you the process. Uh, so basically, um, first thing to try is this never dull. Okay, and this all this is is just a, um, you know, it's a. Uh, it's, it's a it's chemical it's a cloth inside and that'll help um your first attempt to try to bring out the color and get rid of some of the grime and stuff on the wheel if it looks good after you try this you don't have to do anything else um so that's the first first thing this alone should probably do a pretty good job um so that's the first now next is if you need to go and restore the spokes because uh, in my case I found out the spokes, someone took a, like a wire wheel to it and they actually took off the finish. So the Never Doll didn't do anything because it's already down in the metal and all the finish was gone. So I went through a bunch of tests with different types of paints. I ended up with, uh, with a certain paint uh, that looked pretty much a perfect match to, uh, to the um, horn housing uh, unit and existing. I have other wheels I compared it to and they all look good. So the three things, so three things you need in terms of paint is you need the self-etching primer, first thing. Okay, put on a couple coats, two coats on the spokes. Um, that will allow the paint to actually bond to the to the uh, to the primer because it doesn't bond well to the spokes. Next is this Krylon metallic silver. This is a perfect match for what the spokes look like now. For 68 GTO, it's not a polished finish. It's a it's a it's a um, you know, wire, it's like um, an oxidized finish. So it doesn't, it's not like a 67 wood wheel. It's uh, it's different, but this is a perfect match. So get some of this. Uh, and then the last, the last, um, I put on three coats of the metallic, very light. The last coat I used this two inch, uh, one and a half inch brush to brush in some very light strokes, very, very light to give it the brush look. Um, and that, that worked out well. So a little cheapy brush from like Home Depot or those. And then once that is done, um, again, three coats, 20 minutes in between coats. Um, and I let it sit for pretty much a, a day to dry. And then I put on this um, Rust-Oleum Satin Clear uh, Polyurethane Satin, okay? You know, because the spokes aren't, aren't polished. They're not like a gloss. They're not like a, you know, a... Um, a semi gloss there it's a satin so that's a good a good finish um once i did all that it, it worked good so now i'm gonna kind of walk out um to the garage and the wheel that i did this for is is on my car i put it on my gto so let's take a walk out there and take a look what it looks like all right and unfortunately i can't um turn this phone around while i'm videotaping uh, the button only works before you start. All right. Hey, Belle. Come on. Come on, Belle. That's my cat. Oh, my daughter's cat. You know that. Okay, so let's check out the GTO. Um... Again, this is the finished product, uh, and the subsequent videos you'll see after this is kind of the steps I took um, to get to this point. So, uh, all right, let's get my flashlight. Um, oh. All right, so I'm going to turn this. I'm gonna turn this around and let you see it. Okay, so that's the finished product. Uh, the spokes um, look 
really good. You know, if I can get in a, I can show you something close up. Um, you can see, you can see the spoke with how it looks to the housing, horn housing unit. It's a pretty good match. Um, I restored the wheel itself, the grain. Um, in this particular one, this is my very first one I did. And uh, I have other videos on how to do the do the grain. I'm gonna show you in this set of videos. Um, and I had different types of grains, different processes for grains. Um, this one I actually painted on the grains instead of uh, creating a physical grain. Um, but I, it's not an actual um, authentic look from a factory for a 68 wood wheel. But honestly, I think I like this, this look better, which is why I have this in the car. And plus, it was my first wheel, so, um, you know, I, I think it looks it looks pretty good. I have, I have a bunch. I have, like, five wheels, so um, uh, I can swap them out if I want to. So that's it. So I'm going to show you the next set of, next set of videos um, is the process I did to, uh, to go from this, from where I was, to this. So, uh, bye.